Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to use the Motive Wave trading platform on multiple monitors. And for those users that don't have multiple monitors, I'll show you a nice method on how to manage your workspaces in different windows to stay organized. So the reason we're making this video is due to the fact that many of our traders do have multiple monitors. They do like to monitor multiple charts and multiple markets at one different time. So they can place different widgets on different monitors and remain organized. So Motive Wave makes it really easy to do so. And you obviously have a couple different ways on how to organize your monitors and the different windows you're working with. So off the bat, the easiest way to pull out a window and make it into its own external window, in my opinion, is through the pop out window button. This is found in the top right hand corner of any window you currently have open. So we're currently working within our workspace here. Of course, each different widget we can call them is designated into its own section here. Now in the top right of each of these widgets, you'll see it'll have once you ho hover over your mouse long enough, it'll say open blank. So open watch this window, we come down to this one open watch list window. You can come up to your chart and it'll say open chart window. So let's take a look. If we left click this, as you can see, it becomes its own separate identity. I do have two monitors working. So if I want, I could just throw this onto my other monitor. I could also put it back into the platform. I can make it full screen. I can minimize, maximize, close it out. I have a bunch of different options to work with here. So this is one way of doing so. If you want at any time, you can just simply close this back down by clicking the X in the top corner here and it'll close it out. And as you see, it actually doesn't take away from the main platform itself. It just opens it up into a new section. So as you can see, we still have the same tab. Even if I close it out, my tab that I originally opened it from is still going to remain there. Let's take a look. Let's just do accounts. For example, this is actually going to be one of those that do stay in the platform. We can do so with a dome though. If we just click on the open dome window, it pops it out. I can drag it off to another monitor. I can drag it back again. I can make it full screen, minimize, maximize. Same thing you would do with any windows window. So there's that. And like you saw with the accounts, this actually doesn't have that window to pop it up. There are things such as export of to a CSV file you can do, but these primarily will stay into the platform. So we can take a look at the bottom here, the watch list. This is probably something that some traders would like on their own monitor. We can go ahead, click this out. Same thing pops out into its own window. So you get the gist, the open in a blank button, open in a new window per se, we can call it. This will work with those widgets that do accept this functionality. Of course, as you saw, you can manipulate them in their, their own window and they'll still remain and save their spot in the allocated spot on the platform. So let's take a look at the window tab because this is also a really nice feature that allows you to manipulate and manage multiple windows at one time. So if you do have multiple windows going on in the background there, let's actually just keep one open just for demonstration. If you notice, if we click bring all to front, this will bring everything we have open in the background. So let's open something else. You can see we have two windows in the background. Now it doesn't matter what monitor this is on, doesn't matter where it is on your computer, but if you bring this all to the front, this will pop up in front of any other windows you have. So this is a good way to keep track of windows. And as you can see, Motive Wave by default does take up the entire screen. So for those users that don't have multiple monitors, you may lose some windows in the background when you're messing around and opening things up. So this is a good way to stay organized with that. Let's close that out now and let's go to the next one. Tile windows. We're actually going to open this back up just so you can see what it looks like. So this actually tiled our windows. So as you can see, and I do have a word document in the background here, so you don't see everything on my desktop, but this will actually tile your windows so you can have multiple things going on. Again, this is great for those users that only have one monitor, but they want to organize their platform in a way where they have standalone windows. They can manipulate them each individually, but the main core platform is still there. 
So that's an option for you guys. If you want, you can go back to the main platform here. We can uh, make this full screen and it'll bring it back. We do still do have those other windows in the background. So don't feel that you're gonna lose those out if you make this full screen again. Next option, we have cascade windows. Kind of similar, but as you can see, it does a cascade effect and it layers them one on top of the other. Another thing too to keep in mind is that although these are being popped out in their own windows, they each actually function as their own individual platform. So you can see I still have all the follow buttons, window buttons, studies, things like that. They're all within these different windows. The watch list is a bit different, of course, but when you open up a chart or open up a dome, you pretty much get its own functioning platform and its own window. So you can manipulate and change windows no matter what window you have open, as long as you have these file, edit, view, study, strategy, format, configure, window, and help tabs, they act as its own platform and they act as a whole main overarching structure. So let's go and continue on. We can do restore windows. This will just restore them to whatever the last position they were in if you accidentally reverse or revert any changes. Kind of similar to bring all to front, always on top will make sure that whatever window you select this with will always be on top. So as you can see, even though I'm manipulating the window in the background here, being that I have this always on top, there's no matter what I do, I cannot bring this to the front. I can bring it off into another monitor, but again, can't bring it to the front. So again, this is great for even those users that do use multiple monitors and you want to put them off to the side or whatever the case may be and you are working with other programs, this will assure that nothing will get in front of your charts or your dome, so you're always focused on the price. So if you want to remove this, we'll just go back to this window and click always on top again. Now, when I click on under other window, it'll bring it to the front. Other than that, we just do have some window size configuration, so you can just manipulate the window size if you have a different type of monitor, maybe 1440p or whatever the case may be, 1280 by 720, whatever you prefer your native resolution to be in, you can do so. If you wanna make it full screen, of course, you have the buttons at the top, so that's another method for you. Of course, you can manipulate, drag, and resize windows as you would do with anything on a Windows desktop. But again, if you want those strict window sizes, if you have a particular monitor with those sizes, or you wanna create something custom, so like I said, 1440p by 1280 or whatever the case is, you can go ahead and edit those. And of course, if your monitor can't fit these sizes, it will automatically configure to the next available size. So, or the maximum size, of course. So there's that. And then finally, of course, you do have the window monitoring tool. So this will just pretty much allow you to monitor all the different windows you have up at any given time and you can swap back and forth and bring them to the top as needed. But other than that, guys, it's pretty straightforward as to how to work with multiple monitors on this platform. As you can see, and you probably wanna focus the main functionality of these open buttons. Of course, those are all located in the top right corner of any widget that accepts them. So again, you just click that, it'll pop it out, bring it to its own monitor, or it's wherever you want on your computer and you can do so that way other than that if you don't have another monitor my best bet is through those different organizational tiles that i showed you or just working through the tab system up here as you can see you can just create different tabs for yourself and then swap back and forth among the different tabs to stay organized again that just about wraps it up if you do have any questions on how to work with multiple monitors on this platform, feel free to comment down in the section, comment section down below or head over to our community forum and you can ask them there. Other than that, if you did like the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more MotoVape content, and as always, thanks for watching.